Welcome or welcome back to C Square. In this video clip, we're gonna copy an angle. We're gonna construct an angle that is congru congruent. The measure of the angle is equal with the measure of the other angles. For that reason, I'm gonna uh, click on uh, on geometry on this app. You see here. And I'm gonna draw an angle first of all. For that reason, I had uh, to use what we know uh, rays. We call them rays. Oops. Okay. No. Okay. Right here. Okay, so uh, this is one ray, you can call this uh, ray AB, and one more, uh, ray AC, okay, so uh, let's move this picture a bit to the right, and you notice we have an angle which we can measure. Okay, just to see at the end if we have the same measure. So this angle we have here has a measure of 47.8 degrees. I'm going to construct another angle and hopefully it's going to have the same measure of 47.8. For that reason, I'm going to go again. I'm going to click uh, this button, which says ray. I'm going to draw a ray. So this is the starting point for the second angle right now i'm gonna try to construct the angle for that reason i'm gonna take a circle here and because i do not have a compass i'm gonna have to go back and pick the other one yeah, the, we get, we're going to get the radius, and the radius, let's say, it's going to be 5, 5 centimeters, that is the unit that GeoGebra is using. So, what we have here, we have a circle of radius of 5. So, if you have a compass, obviously, you open the compass and you draw two arcs. In other words, you don't need the whole circle, you need just two arcs to intersect these two gentlemen. Okay. Uh, basically, I'm going to do the same thing here from point D. I'm going to draw a circle or radius of 5, right? Good. And then, as you notice in the, the other, the first angle, the angle A, let me call it like that. We have an intersection point here, right? Also, we have one here for the ray I just drew it for the second angle right so now the idea here is we need to measure this segment FH um, and because we do not have a compass in GeoGebra we have a circle I'm gonna measure this segment in a different way Okay, so as you see, this uh, has a radius of four point, um, length of 4.1. Now, don't forget the GeoGebra is approximating the things. Uh, so probably it, it, could, it could be a little bit more than 4.1 or a little bit less. Uh, like I said, it's going to approximate. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to go back, grab a circle from here. I'm going to put it here. Uh, again, here I'm going to put a 4.1. And we notice uh, this circle, the one I just drew it, and uh, this one, they have an intersection point right here. And 
there you go. We have the second angle and see the measure of this angle. And as you notice, we are a little bit off. The reason is, like I said, uh, the measure of this uh, segment HF given by GeoGebra is 4.1. Of course, with a compass, it's going to be a lot easier and uh, more accurate. So go ahead and try. Thank you. Have a great day.